right, back again. We've just finished a, um, an amazing world trip. If you followed our travels, we've been all over Southeast Asia, all over China, into the States. We've uh, had this amazing journey. Um, and during this process, we've obviously tried to ship a hell of a lot of sax monikers. We've, at, and at the same time, yeah, we understand we've had a few hassles there, but we're working on that. We've sort of cleaned up, we've cleaned up the tail end, so yeah. It's been um, quite an epic, uh, epic task, but basically it's done. But at the same time, we've managed to develop generation two of the Sax Monica. So what I'm gonna do is just take you through, there's six aspects to it. Um, you got generation one, that was the start. You've allowed us to get this to the, the next level, which is quite fantastic. So I'm gonna try and explain what we've done is we've created another two lower tubes and completely different keys. So effectively we've increased the range of the sax monica dramatically. Um, these two play in the more common keys of, if you were for argument's sake in a, in a, in a bar and you wanted to jam so, with someone or you had a guitarist there, you wanted to play with them, pianist, you will find something that matches. These work beautifully on the major and the minor scales on the A's, E's, G's, F's, um, the more common keys. Uh, so really that's stage one and I yeah I think that's that's a pretty amazing <laughs> achievement Orion and I have sat down we had to re relearn our maths sound acoustics all sorts of things to to create this instrument and um, yeah sax monica has, has jumped into a, a level that I wasn't expecting it last year but thanks to you guys um, and a lot of patience we've now got it to to the stage here so um, I'm gonna just d demonstrate I'm gonna Put some jazz on it, an A minor. I got it here. I gotta get the right pipe. I think it's this one. Nope. I was playing this one before. So if you can put your A minor pipe on. Jazz in A minor. Now if you pump, punch in backing tracks in A minor, you're gonna find thousands of them. You can play blues, reggae, anything. Now if it doesn't work with A minor on this tube, you just take the other tube. And you really now have a range. If you're a, a harmonica player, you might have five or six harmonicas to play on all the right keys. Right now we got three tubes. You got a range of a lot of keys and, and you will find something that works. Might not work perfectly, but it's gonna work. So I'm gonna find something for this pipe. Okay, I've been searching through, I found some reggae, an E minor, so I put on my other tube. Once again, it should play almost intuitively, in some notes.
Okay, so you can see you've got your bases covered. Three tubes, heaps of different keys, heaps of different scales. Now, for the newbies, I'm going to try and explain what these, um, what we're actually doing here, and the way I've sort of figured it. I've talked about staircases running up and down this blues staircase. Now, this tube will play some staircases. These one, this one will play some staircases, and this one will play some staircases. So if you play this tube on the wrong staircase, you're doing the right thing. You're just on the wrong staircase. So you've got to find the right tube to give you the right staircase. Then everything becomes basically intuitive to your fingers. You find that sound, and you just follow it with your fingers. So nothing changes between playing in the, the say, the, the original tube. Once you find that tone, you'll find that everything becomes rather intuitive on the sound. And then you just run up and down the staircase with same fingers, same patterns, same beats, but different staircases. You're doing exactly the same thing. Um, hope that makes a bit of sense. So, yeah, find the right tube for the staircase and then just start ripping. So, with these additional tubes, you now have thousands and thousands more backing tracks to, to play with. Now, if you've got a friend who might not be a brilliant guitarist, good enough, and, and he says he wants to play in G, let him start, then find that right tube, and you'll, you'll, you'll pick it up, and within a couple of minutes you'll start to figure it out. Um, he might want to play an A, but you should be able to find that as well, or parts of it. So there you go, you've maybe got another eight to nine um, keys to play over. So, and that's purely an addition. These just pop on, it's exactly the same neck. Uh, yeah, so that's, that's the new tubes. Um, what else am I going to talk about? Right, I want to explain the mouthpiece. Now that we've had the chance to really work through some design issues and so forth, we found we can really improve this mouthpiece. There's only so far you can take a, a pipe of this nature. Um, you can put on very expensive mouthpieces and you, you're, you're not going to get the quality. What we're looking for and what we found is a very crisp and clear sound and, and that's so we're coming up are the two new tubes and a redesigned mouthpiece. Now, what you might notice is that I've actually got a sack strap and I've been trying this which is very cool. So it's a strap, you can hook it in here and uh, once again it just takes the weight off your fingers, it allows that top hand to free up and as you play these other pipes you'll find that in the original pipe you tend to play more down the bottom end I find. Um, but once you move on to these pipes, you tend to blow them up in the top end, and they work really well up in the top end, so your right hand starts to do different, different things, which is nice. So you, you get different techniques, and by putting the strap on, once again, you take the weight off, feels good, um, and your hands, once again, relax just that much more, and yeah, you know, it, it all is relevant to this tone that you're, you're producing, so everything the more relaxed, the nicer the tone really is so yeah it's a good little uh, thing it's it's definitely a worthy addition if you feel like it now the the um, three tubes actually do fit in the existing bag we are going to redesign another bag but they do fit in they work they don't quite close but you don't really need a new bag we're going to design one anyway and see where it, see where it goes um, so that's pretty much the new additions here that's what we're talking about uh, all right, now I want to talk a little bit about tuning a sax monica. It's, there's only so much we can do with this. Um, so you'll notice if you push this in super hard, if sometimes if it sounds a bit flat, this might be not quite sitting in there properly. Um, what you can do with a mouthpiece is, is move it backwards and forwards on, the, on here. And I'm going to show you what I do with my mouthpiece because, as I've explained, the rubber that it comes with is always going to break. Now, I just tape mine. It's one layer of, of electrical tape, so you can use anything. But all you really want is a good seal. So as long as that's tight, not too tight, but just tight enough to get a good seal. 
and then you, you can move it backwards and forwards. Now something else is temperature affects the sound. Everything sort of, ex you know, once things warmed up, you, the, the tone gets sweeter. So sometimes if it's sounding a bit flat, just blow it, but just give it a wiggle, make sure it's embedded in here properly, make sure this is a good seal here. And I think uh, your troubles will go, disappear. Anyway, that's, um, that's a little bit about tuning, a little bit about taping the mouthpiece, a little bit about the mouthpiece. A little bit about the new tubes, how they fit in the bag. Um, right. Now, I'm going to talk about the app. Okay, the new features with the app. What we're going to do, Orion's right now smashing out backing tracks to suit the new tubes. Um, so we're hoping to really increase our potential range of very intuitive style backing tracks where you don't even have to think it all just works um, and so you start getting maximum enjoyment out of the sax monica um, but a great feature we're putting on is that if you've seen us recording we've been wearing headphones and listening to the backing tracks with headphones but what we're also getting is full studio sound so we're getting a full reverb sound we put these on we basically we're ripping away um, full reverb echo it sounds awesome now this is the sound this is the experience we're trying to duplicate uh, it is so much fun <laughs> and we've we think we've got it so right now we've, we're, we're putting some additions to the app so you'll be able to just put on backing tracks put headphones on run it through a blue uh, a speaker and you've got full studio sound and it's a it's a game changer it means you don't need the, the little amplification system it all works off your device um, we'll explain more as it comes out and show you how to use it but it's uh, it's it's an amazing feature <laughs> and you're gonna love it when it goes um, so yeah we've got a lot more to add to the app musically um, feature wise we've been playing a lot with virtual reality um, so you're gonna be able to put yourself in some amazing places if you get some VR headsets which I've got and 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 uh, you can go play anywhere in the, in the world. That with a studio feature, full studio sound blasting on your ears, it's, um, it's, it's quite an experience. Uh, so yeah, we, we, we think we're getting some really good components in place. Um, this app has a lot to go. We've, we've got a lot of stuff in the background and the pipeline. We're just working it out right now. So uh, these features will just keep emerging as we keep developing the sound of the sax monica um so that's our plan and it's working okay i'm sitting up in sunny northwest in new zealand stunning place i've got a kiwi under the terrace and i'm going to blow it some blues uh, that's a kiwi bird not a kiwi fruit um plus i'm going to show you and let you listen to this new app edition plus these new pipes um i'm just going to jam over a little bit of blues and um, I'll show you what it's like with the app and without the app. So, start here. Okay, now this is what the app feature is full studio sound, and you can make yourself look like this just off the app. And this can, or this can go into your headphones and the last of the but you get this echo reverb. <laughs> Full blown amplifier in here, you've got a speaker, Bluetooth speakers, 
Uh, I put this mic on the side of my iPad that works great, but you can use the internal mic. And it gives you that echo, that breathing. <laughs> experimenting with meditation music <laughs> say what you want but it works um, on the original pipe we've got some beautiful sounds and you can make your own meditation music now when you combine this with the app with the sound the reverb the potential virtual reality stuff you're really starting to have some fun once you get these tones together. So, um, yeah, look out for the meditation music. That's We'll have some samples appearing soon. Um, but, yeah, it's easy. You don't need much skill on this at all. You can get your backing tracks on it and just listen to our meditation music and, and meditate and feel good. And we're not even too sure if we're going to call it meditation music. This is feel-good music. This is all about well-being. <laughs> You play this and you feel good. It does make you smile when you crack those those tones. So that's another feature. Meditation sound. Um, yeah, it's all coming to Sax Modica. And uh, that's all happening. It's all in the, in the pipeline right now. So uh, the technical aspect has all been completed. We've got all the components in place. We're now just linking everything up. Um, so yes. Okay, I'm just going to try a bit of our meditation music. See if I can make myself feel good. I'm pretty, feeling pretty good now, but I'll jam over this. You can see how simple it is. It requires just slow, hold that tone, and make it sound good. <laughs>
Okay, so another feature we've added to the Generation 2 is the custom colored lower tubes. These are really nice. Um, they've been painted in a two pot paint, so it's tough as. So down the track, if they get some scratches, you can cut and polish them largely like a car, get all the scratches out and get them back up to their new status. So you've got a choice of pink, swirly pink and uh, carbon fiber, lower tubes. Um, these will all be on Kickstarter in a few weeks. Uh, now, a further, I, I want to explain, um, yeah, production and distribution. Now, I fully accept that we had some problems distributing. Um, we had a lot of faith in, in the guys we used, and, and by and large, they've done a very good job. We, we, we got in with the Christmas rush, we got Canadian Post who are on strike, we got customs um, situations of charging you and then other people just not getting emails and so forth. So once again, we're, we're learning from this with big delays. What we've now done is we've, we've systemized our production. Last year has been about setting up a system that allows us to, to move forward. Um, we've systemized our production. Uh, the design challenges have been overcome. The, you know, all the stuff we had to work out last year really we've gone through it and that's finished all those little irking problems we now have pick and pack set up in various different countries um, so we're getting on the ball we want to get this delivery time right down to a few days instead of a few months uh, but once again that was a Kickstarter whole Kickstarter campaign we ran it with a very very small team and um, by and large we're, we're happy and on you know, I, I know you guys have been patient so yeah we've put a lot of thought into distribution manufacturing distribution so we now know we can meet any any deadlines any goals we set if we say we're going to do it that's when we're doing it um yeah we've got our, our our position in place so production and distribution is all good um right now we're going to come at you with a slightly different approach we're looking for some investment we don't need vast amounts of money, but we've created new sound, and uh, you guys have helped us do it. And so what we're gonna do is we're, we're looking for investment in a part of the Sax Monica sound. It's the app, we're develop eventually gonna develop, or we, we've come a long way through the development stage of a game that we're calling right now Space Jazz Hero, which is a, it's something you can do, learn an instrument, have a huge amount of fun, play, jam, do what I've been playing it while we've been on tour. You can score, we're using state-of-the-art um, sound recognition software, it's all going to get blended into this app. And we're going to promote this as you know, Space Jazz Hero, it's something you can pick up, you can play anywhere. It's a, not only as a game, it's an amazing educational feature. Um, so, what we're looking for is a certain amount of investment. Um, we're looking to raise $200,000 where we're going to sell a portion of our Sax Monica Hero business. Um, and you guys are most welcome to participate. We, we're not looking for huge numbers. We will, would prefer to share the, share the sound and share the investment. We think this has got a huge amount of potential. Um, it's all underwritten by the Sax Monica. The Sax Monica has been patented, um, or design aspects have have been patented. Um, I want to talk a little bit about. I'm, I'm going to talk a bit about Guitar Hero, um, which was a huge, huge game. Uh, but once again, you didn't learn an instrument. You played press buttons, and so it had its limitations. But Guitar Hero was very successful, and uh, what eventually led to their downfall or them stop producing Guitar Hero was um, music royalties, hugely expensive to maintain. Um, so as the sax monica sound is pretty much myself and Orion have a lot to do with it, um, we own all the music, we don't have to pay royalties, uh, we think we can really produce something good that is appealing to the world, it's very easy to use. Um, to monetize it, it would be through a subscription basis. We really haven't thought that one out. 
completely. <laughs> We've thought a lot about it, but we, we're looking at putting the right structures in place. And really, we want to share the sound, and, and we think you guys are uh, sort of owed something because you've helped us create it. So we're going to throw this uh, up for any investment discussion. Um, you're most welcome to look at our page, and we'll have a lot more written about it there, how we sort of see it working. Um, but uh, we think there's a huge potential in this sound, uh, and you're most welcome to participate. Um, so if you're interested, click on this, the, the link below and um, have a think about it.